Krokop looking for his first victory within the glory of promotion. The heavyweights are in the spotlight coming up next. He recently returned to the sport he loves while making his glory debut in Zagreb. Here is Mirko Kroka! From Croatia, Mirko Kroka making his kickboxing debut on U.S. soil, representing Team Krokop. The legend's been at it a long time. Only fighter in history to win both the K-1 World Grand Prix and Pride Grand Prix. I tell you, I've known Miracle a long time, and I've seen the progression. He came in as a solid fighter, but he really evolved and developed in the 90s in K1. And then 2000s, he moved into Pride. And at the end of this, this decade, he came back over to kickboxing out of the UFC, and he's here with us now. And again, I was impressed with his fight in debut and glory. Still at this age, he's hanging and banging. He's letting those high kicks go, and that signature crow cop. If the right leg puts you in the hospital, and that left leg might put you in the cemetery. He's not lost his tenacity or his will to fight. He's coming off that controversial loss to Remy Bonjaski at Glory 14 in his homeland of Croatia. You know, he's got to be extremely motivated, Duke, to get a victory here in the Glory promotion. He's got wins in almost every combat sports promotion on the planet except Glory looking to do that here tonight in Los Angeles. It's safe to say if Crow Cop fights in your promotion, it validates you. I mean, he is the gatekeeper of combat sports. Not even a gatekeeper. He is the benchmark of it. Now making his way to the glory ring, this man steps away from an undefeated pro boxing career to get a second chance at tonight's opponent. Here comes Jarrell Miller. Big baby, Jarrell Miller, 25 years old from New York with a 22 and one kickboxing record. Also an undefeated boxer. Making his glory debut tonight. He's trained at the famous Gleason's Gym in Brooklyn. Done some Muay Thai with Henzo Gracie. Now with Jim Yu and Kelly Richardson. 9-0-1 as a pro boxer. As well, the uh, dispatch Pat Berry in the World Combat League. This guy can hit, he comes forward hard, and he's great at backing opponents up. heavyweight matchup between Krokop and Miller. Miller is going to use his youth, his size, and his reach to pressure the very technical Krokop. That's going to be the tail tail, the tail of the tape in this fight. If Miller does that, he could defeat Krokop. Krokop needs to shut down that youth, height, and size. To introduce our fighters, we return to the glory ring and Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, a controversial 2012 decision set the stage for tonight's headline bout and marks the kickboxing debut on U.S. soil for one legendary fighter. We're scheduled for three rounds in the glory heavyweight division. This bout sanctioned by the International Sport Kickboxing Association. Your referee at the opening bell will be Big John McCarthy. 
for those with us live in the fabulous forum here in Los Angeles, California, and kickboxing fans watching in 170 countries around the world. It's time for glory! Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, he is a former World Grand Prix champion with a kickboxing professional record of 22 wins with eight losses, 12 of those wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet, one and one half inches, 1.87 meters. He weighed in at 232 and one half pounds, 105.5 kilos. He fights tonight out of Croatia. Ladies and gentlemen, Mirko Cruz. Here now is his opponent standing on my left and fighting out of the wide corner. This New York native trained in boxing and Muay Thai. His kickboxing record, 22 wins with just one loss. Ten of those wins coming by way of knockout. Standing six feet, four inches tall, 1.93 meters. He weighed in at 272 pounds, 123.4 kilos. Fighting out of New York City, USA, here is Jarrell. Once again, your referee for this contest is Big John Jericho, McCarthy. Jarrell. Gentlemen, over the rules, remember to protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands all times. Fight clean, fight hard, fight fair. Touch gloves if you want now. Step back. Good luck to both of you. One of the best in the business, Big John McCarthy, will be our referee for this heavyweight matchup between Mirko Krokop in the black gloves and black shorts and Jarrell Miller in the white gloves. Do not blink because these are two angry, motivated heavyweights. It's a good sign someone's getting knocked out. Yeah, definitely. And I think Big John being in there with those big boys is going to be a good choice by the California State Athletic Commission. Closing numbers from fight odds has Jarrell Miller minus 245 and Mirko Krokop, the experienced fighter, plus 175. Miller said he really want, wanted this fight. He's waited a long time to put it to Mirko Krokop. Believes he was robbed in Croatia in that first bout that took place last year. I tell you, Krokop looks like a light heavyweight thanks to the a mammoth heavyweight Miller. Well, 40 pound weight advantage for Jarrell Miller in this fight. Krokop will, Krokop will look to use his speed to avoid that shot. And left hook from Krokop gets through and Miller clinches. And he's got to watch that. He's used to boxing, clinching. Unless you immediately attack with the knees, you cannot clinch more than a second in glory. And there is a low knee by Jarrell Miller to Mirko Krokop. That one landed south of the border. Krokop will have five minutes to regroup. Well, I tell you, I don't think a big man like Miller should be trying to kick as much. He's got his, his boxing pedigree. Touch him with his jab and let those right hands go. Left hooks, uppercuts. Uh, use his boxing pedigree. But we didn't expect any kicks or knees from Miller in this fight. And speaking with him in the fighter meetings, he said he was coming out to throw bombs, use his boxing background, and not crow cop out. You can see, too, that Gardy uses kind of a lot of boxers on the East Coast, almost Paulie Melanaschi style. Uh, they like to drop the front guard and shoulder block. Similar to Mayweather, but you know, very, very useful in the boxing industry. Not always the best for kickboxing. Patented high kick there from Mirko Krokop. Didn't do a lot of damage, but starting to find his zone and his range. The one disadvantage that Miller has coming from boxing, especially he's getting more fights, he's used to boxing more rounds. This is a sprint, and sometimes in boxing, it's a cross-country race. You go longer rounds, and you feel your opponent out in the first round. And maybe even two, you give up a couple rounds and come get them later. We don't have time to do that tonight. Low kick from Jarrell Miller. And he gets a right hook through. 
30 seconds to go in round number one. Scheduled for three. Mirko Krokop and Jarrell Miller. Jab from Krokop. I tell you, Krokop choose to fight big dudes. Go on the internet. Watch him smash Bob Sapp with a vicious high kick. So this guy's really tiny next to Bob Sapp. That kick from Mirko Krokop to the ribs of Miller echoed through the form. But Miller pushing for it. And lands some shots to end round number one. Well, 39-year-old Mirko Krokop still in incredible physical shape. He may have replaced some of his speed with more power punching today, but looking good in that first round. Yeah, he's doing the right thing too. When the guy gets close, he smothers uh, Jarrell Miller's punching power. He's not giving a lot of chance. He's doing a good job of counter punching on the inside as well. More strikes landed by Mirko Krokop. Jarrell Miller only landing six shots, but Duke, the back and forth first round, how do you score? I'm going to give that one to the Krokop. Round number two, Mirko Krokop comes out in his southpaw stance. Jarrell Miller in the white gloves, orthodox. Miller 9-0, one as a pro boxer. Looking for revenge on Krokop tonight. Little sharp, short, sharp shot got through there by Miller. Pushed Krokop back a little bit. I'm a little surprised that Miller's not throwing more bombs here. Yeah, uh, and he's trying to almost technically kickbox with him. Like kick. Uh, I was expecting some more punching myself. And not doing much with the jab. Another huge kick from Krokop to the ribs. And John letting the fighters clinch there for a few seconds, then breaks him up. Under two minutes to go in round number two. Miller misses with another knee. He's really not even getting close with those. He's, that one got through, but I don't think it did too many too much damage. He needs to bring that knee to the face if he's going to use it. It's there. Broke off with a low kick to the thigh. Having success with both the kicks upstairs and downstairs. Let go of his head, let go of his head. Fight. Well, Miller complained too that Krokop was headbutting him in that first fight too. Well, when you have a righty versus lefty in, in, in striking, you can't help it. It's a little awkward angle. See how their heads naturally touch each other? It's a problematic situation when two guys are opposite stances. When those two clinch up, Miller just looks like the behemoth. Like they're almost fighting in different weight classes. Well, I tell you, speaking of headbutts and fighting, I, I saw Evander in Holyfield here. He knows a little about uh, someone headbutting and maybe biting an ear off. You know, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a hard thing when you're both trying to come forward. The heads naturally come together, like there. Broke up again with a solid kick to the ribs. Jerome Miller caught it, but you have to quickly make a move and then let it go. 30 seconds to go in round number two. Nice burst of energy there by Krokop. You can still see he's got some snap in those punches. Oh! Krokop has been really successful with his kicks to the body. Your hands are free. Your hands are free. Nice little hockey punch there. Grab the head and coming up with an uppercut. Good body shot. Well, we are at the form, former home of the LA Kings. And speaking of some of the greats, there is the former champ, Evander Holyfield, who has really become a huge glory kickboxing fan. Great to have Evander here in LA.
nice body kick there. He stumbled a little afterwards, but now, oh, he, he, that shin just grazed. And that's why everyone showed up to watch that. If we're talking basketball, that was a slam dunk Lakers style then that Krogop was trying to throw. Hey, there's my boy, my man, Joe Rogan. He's a huge Glory fan, everybody. Uh, we had a great time talking Glory on the Joe Rogan podcast. Download it, check it out on the internet. Huge fan of Glory Kickboxing. Glad to have Joe Rogan here in L.A. at the Forum. Ron Kruk along with Duke Rufus. We are set for our third and final round between Mirko Krokop and Jarrell Miller. He's got him hurt. It's that backdoor hook. He's catching the blind side with that right hook right there. He sees it. Not Gerald, but Mirko. He's seeing an opening there. And again, Miller's the one that's throwing the kicks and knees in this round. Big John separates the fighters. Krokop destroying the ribs of Miller. And again, that one was south of the border. Mirko Krokop grimacing in pain. Take your time. That's the second low blow delivered by Jarrell Miller. Stand up real quick, come over here. Krokop will take as much time as he needs to regroup. It's like he shakes it off pretty quickly. What happened, he was throwing a side kick, he landed, and Jarrell Miller was kicking under with his round kick. Well, Krokop doesn't trash talk, but you could tell he was motivated for this fight because Miller has been doing enough trash talk for both of them. He was motivated to get the victory again over Miller, but also his first win in the glory promotion. Two minutes to go in this third and final round. A lot of action. Fighters press up against each other. Separated by Big John. Krokop was originally scheduled to face Sergei Haritanov, but he was injured. Now here comes Krokop. Wow, he still got that killer instinct and throwing those kicks up to the dome. Oh, man. And now a third low blow. Jarrell Miller doesn't think that it was low. But the man that counts, John McCarthy, does. We'll see if he deducts a point or it's just a warning. Fine. Stay there. Take a look at it, our replay. I told you stop. There's not going to be another close, warning. It's okay? close, but Watch to me, move. that looks like a knee more to his belly. Fight. Either way, no point taken away, and we're approaching a minute 20 to go in the third and final round. Right now, Krokop's out boxing the boxer, if you ask me. Miller needs to do something and do it quickly in spectacular fashion. One minute to go. And really, Jarrell Miller doesn't seem to be pushing the pace right now. Another, another shot from Kokop to the ribs. He's really broken down the body of Miller. That's what you got to do against a big guy. You know, hit him where it hurts, the legs, the arms, the body. Technically sound fight from Mirko Krokop using that the years of experience in the ring. Under 30 to go. Like Miller needs to land that big punch. Probably needs the knockout. Number three. Big knees blocked by Krokop. Ten seconds to go. High kick from Krokop. Only fitting that Mirko Krokop would end that fight with one of his patented high kicks. The big man, Jarrell Miller, just couldn't do much against Mirko Krokop. 
Miller with that 40 pound weight advantage, but couldn't really get anything to land as Krokop used his speed. And looked very impressive, Duke. I gotta say, he's used to fighting big men. Like I said, he took out a huge Bob Sapp. He's fought the biggest and best back in the day in K1. Um, fought a really big uh, Mike Bernardo. You know, some, he's used to it, and he had a great performance tonight. The Glor Glory Girls getting down. They like it here. The Glory Girls getting down and getting ready for the pay-per-view tonight, of course, at 10 p.m. Eastern. Glory presents their first ever pay-per-view, the Last Man Standing Tournament. Middleweights, eight men will battle it out. Seven will fall. One will be crowned champion. Well, let's take a look at tonight's highlights between Miller and Krokop. Good, and, and Krokop going to the body. He was really surging like with his body shots. Beautiful shin upside the, the guard there. Tried to go for that head kick KO. Great performance by Krokop. Took a few low blows, but he was ready to, he shook him off and, and got back in there. Tonight's strike of the night is brought to you by 300 Rise of an Empire on the Blu-ray this Tuesday, digital HD available now. Well, there's no question, Andy Risty's KO of Kai Hollenbeck, 35 seconds of round number one, easily tonight's strike of the night. Let's get the official decision for this heavyweight bout and go back into the glory ring and ring announcer Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Chapel and Judge McKnight score this bout 29 28. Judge Bellardo 30 27. A unanimous decision, all for your winner, Miko Pro. his first victory in the glory promotion and improved to 23 and 8. Glory 17 Los Angeles, thank you for being a part of it. For the entire crew, Luke Thomas and my partner Duke Rufus, I'm Ron Crook. Good night from LA.